Basic Blueprint Reading for Welders. Chapter 8, Sectional Views. Gary Pace, P-E-C-W-I, TexasWeldingEngineering.com. Okay, this book was written by Rick Costin, Basic Blueprint Reading. It was put together out in Oregon. It's an open source book. If you want to do a deep dive on it and find the electronic copy and download it, if you type in Open Oregon Blueprint Reading, Open Books, it should take you to this OpenOregon.PressBooks Pub Blueprint Reading book. Um, we're going to dive into Chapter 8, Sectional Views. This book is an entry-level blueprint reading book written for the first-year welding student. So you can use, your, use it to familiarize, familiarize yourself with sketching and blueprint reading. All right, we're going to talk about cutting planes, cutting plane lines, section lines, Full sections, half sections, broken out sections, revolved sections, offset sections, and removed sections. Okay, we've learned that, you know, when you're making a multi-view sketch, hidden edges and surfaces are usually shown with hidden lines, dashed lines. Um, so when an object becomes more complex, as in the case of an automobile engine or a valve or something like that, we need a clear presentation of the interior, and we can do that by sketching the object as it would look if it were cut apart. In that way, the many hidden lines on the sketch are eliminated. So here you can see we've got a block, we've cut it in half, and then we can look on the inside. So if we're looking at really complex parts that got a lot of interior nooks and crannies and spaces, a lot of times we'll just slice it in half and look at it that way. It makes looking at it a lot easier. The process of sketching the internal configuration of an object by showing it cut apart is known as sectioning. Sectioning is used frequently on a wide variety of industrial drawings. In this example, uh, this is what a block looks after, like after it was sectioned. When you cut an apple in half, you have sectioned it. Just as an apple can be sectioned any way you choose, so can you, an object in a sectional view of a drawing or sketch be sectioned. It's like slicing an apple in half. You can slice that thing diagonally. You can slice it in half with the core, against the core. You can slice just a slice off the edge. That's what we're talking about when we're talking about sectional views, is how we're going to slice that apple. Okay, so this is a cutting plane line. The cutting plane line, we're going to take this part that's circled in green and we're going to cut it. We're going to take our knife and slice the apple. You can see that, that in view A, there's that um, purple or whatever the hell color that is, line that's slicing the part from top to bottom. And then when we get down to views C and D, that's what our apple or our part would look like if it was sliced. A surface cut by the saw in the drawing above is a cutting plane. Actually, it is an imaginary cutting plane taken through the object since the object is imagined as being cut through at a desired location. So we're just cutting that apple. A uh, cutting plane is represented on a drawing by a cutting plane line. This is a heavy, short, short, long, dashed line that's terminated with arrows. Um, the arrows show the direction of the view. The arrows show the direction that you're taking, uh, you're looking at the part from. Here, uh, here's another graphic example of us taking a cutting plane line in the section that develops from it. So there's our object, we take our cutting plane line, and then how we're going to look at this thing. Section lining, the lines in the figure um, which look like saw marks are called section lining. They are found on most sectional views and indicate the surface which has been exposed by the cutting plane. So we put section lines on anything that's been cut through. It's like a saw mark. So we see those cutting plane lines. We know that this has been cut um, with a section line and we can approach digesting it mentally in that fashion. Full sections. When a cutting plane line passes entirely through an object, the resulting section is called a full section. This figure 7 um, illustrates a full section. You can see that they've sliced this widget, this part, end to end. 
So that is a full section. Here's another couple examples of a full section. Except we've done it two different directions. We've sliced our apple uh, crossways and lengthwise. So we've got two section lines on this, A and B. So uh, here's an object section from two different directions. So it's like a little clip or something and we've cut it two different ways. Half sections. If the cutting plane is passed halfway through the object, one quarter of the object is removed. So it would be like slicing a quarter of the apple. We're only going halfway into the apple um, in a couple of different directions. A half section has the advantage of showing both inside and outside configurations. So here we're just going to take, um, you can see where I've lined it up. We're going to take um, from the outside to the center and then you can see that the cutting plane line takes precedence over the center lines. Um, and the identification letter is not required if only one section is shown. It is frequently used for symmetrical objects. Hidden lines are usually not shown on the unsectioned half unless they are needed for clearances or for dimensioning purposes. As in all sectional drawings, the cutting plane takes precedence over the center line. Okay, here's another view of a half section. Um, remember that one-fourth of the object is removed with the half section, whereas half of the object is generally moved with a full section. So we're just taking a quarter slice out of that apple. You can see on that um, pink line where I've um, outlined it, that, set, that part of the um, component has been removed to give us a view of the interior of the component. Broken out section. In many cases, only a small part of a view needs to be sectioned in order to show some internal detail. In the figure below, the broken out section is removed by a freehand break. A cutting plane line does not need to be shown since the location of the cut is obvious. So you can see where that squiggly line is. And I circled this in purple, um, but half of the squiggly line is in under that purple. That's what a broken out section is. Um, we're just taking a little bit of it. We don't need to slice all the way through. We just need a little bit of this broken out. Okay, here we've got revolved sections. So this is a, sh a piece that you can see has got three different um, shapes. So on the far left, we've got a square shape, and then it transitional transitions into a hexagonal shape. And then on the far right, where I've got it outlined there in yellow, it's a circular shape. A revolved section shows the shape of an object by rotating a section 90 degrees to face the viewer. The three revolved sections illustrated in the spear-like object above show the changes that take place in its shape. So it, it goes, it transitions. So that's why we might have revolved sections. Here's an offset section. An offset section is a means of including a single section um, several features of an object that are not in a straight line. To do this, the cutting plane line is bent or offset to pass through the features of the part. So this one we don't, we, we go in and slice our apple kind of at a, a, at a jigsaw or a zigzag through that guy. So that's why we've got, we call this an offset cutting plane. Because it's not a straight line, we're kind of picking and choosing what we want to, what we want to cover up. Here's another view of an offset section. Uh, section view of two or more planes in an object to show features that do not lie in the same plane. So you can see I started out there with the green and then I followed it up with the purple. So this would be another example of an offset section. Removed section. A removed section is um, a section removed from its normal projected position in the standard arrangement of views is called a removed section. Such sections are labeled section A, A, section B, B, etc., corresponding to the letter designation at the ends of the cutting plane line. Removed sections may be partial sections and are often drawn to a different scale. All right, we covered cutting planes, cutting plane lines, section lines, full sections, half sections, broken out sections, 
revolve sections, offset sections, and remove sections. Anybody's got any questions, you know how to get a hold of me. Um, anyways, peace out. <laughs>